Hello guys, I just wanted to make an update in English of our situation with our slavery. So yesterday I saw this video on BitChute. The author of this video is trying to reason with the zombies, the truck protesters in Canada. He is trying to tell them that they are being used, that the system is run by a huge computer that creates events like this. So control protest, control wars, for the purpose of moving us into the new world order. Efficiently quickly so basically they create these events with a certainty that they will never fail they can predict all the possible moves of the sheeple and so they will always win and if we just take a look at the past we can see that we the sheeple never win at some point we must stop and realize we're being fucked but no these mindless zombies keep going out in the streets playing their games never realizing they're being used but now, going back to this huge computer running our world, I'm thinking, is it so necessary to use this huge power machine, you know, to run uh, the world, you know? To me, humans look so fucking stupid, they just need a couple of neurons to realize that we are being fucked and used here. So my point is, uh, maybe we are just mind-controlled, guys, on a huge scale, and for some reason some unlucky few are not, and we are being tortured to watch this shit powerless. The information is all there, but these Mars do not watch it. If they just saw the movie 1984, they will see that they are being used like morons. War is being created to fucking scare them. If they just read a report from the Iron Mountain that clearly tells you that people in power have to create all kinds of crises to justify their existence. Studying how the brain works can help us understand why people do not want to face reality. For the brain is easier to choose the easiest solution. And when the situation is hopeless, the brain escapes in la la land. We can see this with people who've been raped when they were little. The brain does this trick of forgetting everything that happened and turns you into a psychopath. Facing reality is too painful, so you stop seeing yourself as a victim. You're a winner now. A psychopath winner. Like the psychopath living today. The normies. They are everywhere. They think positively. They become rapists like the one who raped them. Just like the movie Matrix, they transform into agents every time they see a weak individual to prey on them. On the other hand, they love the rapist. The Stockholm Syndrome clearly shows you this. So by understanding these few uh, tricks and mechanisms of our mind, we can clearly control humans without any use of any machine. Which, of course, they might use, of course, but it's not so hard, guys. You just need some violence. Slowly put these uh, humans, this sheep, in a situation where they cannot uh, contrast this, uh, this uh, huge machine, which is uh, raping them. And then the brain goes in la-la land to escape from reality. In fact, if you see today, people are hopeless, guys. They are not able to leave the system, the matrix, you know. And so they will do anything, anything to be in the Matrix. And just like psychopaths, their brain doesn't let them see reality. The fact that they are slaves being used. So if we try to open their eyes, you know, with the truth, they will attack you viciously. Because they are weak, guys. They cannot face reality. For them not being liked by other people is unthinkable. It's too much of a pain let alone try to do something about their slavery and fight, for example. Uh, the system knows these few tricks, guys. L uh, just like a moron like me uh, figured out all this. And that's how we control humans, guys. Okay, so what's the solution? Uh, you want a happy ending. And me too, to tell you the truth. I mean, they have the numbers, but they are very, very weak, guys, compared to us. But also I'm realizing that we are not so strong, you know, after 2020 I see that nobody did anything, guys. And also realize that yes, these people are weak, but uh, from 2020 these people are also mind-controlled, guys, so they can be very dangerous. In my opinion, it all depends on how much we love freedom. If we love freedom uh, that we are uh, ready to die for it, we maybe might have a chance. Otherwise we'll be slaves like the rest of the world.